proper pitching mechanics are really going to help a pitcher have longevity in their career and have more consistent deliveries throughout their pitching. So what I want to talk about here is the noodle follow through and this can happen in any of the three deliveries for beginning pitchers. So we've talked about the stretch, the abbreviated windup and the full windup. Now let's talk a little bit about the follow through with the noodle follow through. So as an example, I'm going to begin in the stretch position. I'm going to come set and I'm just going to go up, down, out and throw and then just relax my arm like this on the outside of my leg. This really helps pitchers um, in their delivery because it gives them that sense of being somewhat loose and free and easy in their follow through. And it's going to be a drill for you to practice with them that you'll encourage them after they make their pitch to follow through with this noodle here. One of the things you can talk to them about or coach them up with is when they come set, their lead shoulder is going to be pointing towards their target this way. And when they follow through, their throwing shoulder is going to be pointed towards their target when they follow through. And their hand is going to be on the outside of their lead leg and just follow through in this position. It's a little difficult for players to first get the hang of this because they want to stop their follow through a little soon and recoil. Um, and I just might make a side note here that you'll notice a lot of pitchers in the major leagues when they pitch, they'll throw and they'll do a little bit of a recoil. They are okay doing that. Obviously they're the best in the world and there's a way to practice that and, and get to the point where you can have that recoil or have your front leg follow through this way. But for now we want to just teach them basic body mechanics and technique to have them keep a better understanding of how they should be following through with effortless motion. So as they make their follow through, it's here and then just getting to the position of this. The front toe, front toes and your nose or the player's nose are going to be pointed towards their target and this foot's going to come around last. So it's up, down, out, and then the foot comes down and touches the ground like this. Sometimes if we're trying to coach players and, and explaining too many things at once, it's just going to confuse matters. So I wouldn't touch on both of those. I wouldn't touch on the back foot and the front foot. I would just touch on this motion here, getting them into this position where their arm literally dangles like a noodle on the outside of their leg as part of their follow through. And generally the rest of this will sort of take care of itself. Have a target that they're throwing to, but make the target pretty big. Doesn't, they don't have to hit, make a strike or anything. They can just throw it into a catch net. We're not too focused on where the ball goes necessarily, but we want to keep it somewhere in the range of, of, a, of a net in that area um, to at least get them the idea of where they're throwing the ball. But don't be too particular on them throwing exact strikes because we want them to get the feel of following through and having this loose and effortless follow through with their throwing hand. Mm -hmm.